So the other night I was watching the hockey game, like you do, and there was this noise in the background. I can only describe it as a sort of loud, cyclic tintinabulation. Now, if you're old enough, you might describe it as modem sounds or DTMF tones or things that kids have never heard of in the year 2024, but it'll sound like bells or an alarm repeating in the background. Uh, it was extremely distracting, and it occurred in a bunch of hockey games that I tried to watch. Now, I do actually have a form of synesthesia where I'll sometimes hear chords or tones or even music in what is otherwise just noise in certain conditions. So at first, I just chalked this up to me being weird, but other people in the room heard it. And then I started Googling around, and a lot of people have heard it. I found five Reddit threads of people in different areas, ranging from the Canucks fans to the Toronto Blue Jays fans to a TV forum, a music thing. The WWE people are really spun up about this. But uh, lots of people were hearing this noise. So I decided, you know, I'm a podcaster and I'm also an audio engineer to do a little bit of investigation, which I have posted in uh, the Geek Nights forum, but uh, I wasn't crazy. I immediately found that there is indeed a very specific cyclic signal or tone or something in the one to three kilohertz range. Uh, it cycles at about two hertz and it spins through three or four different sets of tones. So it's real. You can see it in the audio. So I was able to do a little analysis and I was able to identify exactly where these tones are. And if any of you are annoyed by this, uh, I have developed a very simple notch filter that actually completely removes the sound. So if you didn't hear it before uh, and maybe you just weren't paying attention, uh, I'm about to play some samples and you'll be able to see exactly what it sounds like and what the absence of it sounds like in any of the streams that are affected. Every single game of this series has been decided by one goal. It has been close to say the least. And so the Rangers will look to find their killer instinct and finish the job at home tonight while the Hurricanes in desperation are willing to do anything to keep their season alive. Once again, Carolina is giving veteran Freddie Anderson the nod tonight. He has a one and one record when facing elimination in the playoffs with the Hurricanes. And at the other end, Igor Shesterkin is coming off just his first loss of these playoffs, but he has been stellar throughout. Shesterkin has a sparkling 925 save percentage in this series. The Rangers want to do everything in their power to finish off this series at home. They will have the help of a feisty 21-year-old Matt Rempe back into the lineup and Rod Brindamore and the Canes. They want to carry the momentum forward, especially after finally winning the special teams battle in the last one. Well, the Stanley Cup playoffs are like a novel with each game a new chapter that builds on the last one. Now, I'm not going to speculate too much on what this might be, uh, but offhand, one, it could be encoding errors. There could be some sort of encoding artifact in the audio pipeline of like Sportsnet that's causing this. Uh, it could be uh, overly aggressive noise reduction, though actually because of its cyclical nature, I don't believe that it's that. Or it could be some sort of audio watermark. So one thing I'm actually very interested in is if this video gets suddenly taken down rapidly because this, if this is an audio watermark, it's interesting that it's so loud, which implies that someone did it wrong or someone wanted it to be extremely resilient to transcoding and re-encoding because I note that the range that it is present in, one kilohertz to three kilohertz, is basically the exact range that humans hear best uh, that's like the area we are the most tuned to hear stuff, but it's also the area that is prioritized by most audio codecs that will encode anything out there. So if you wanted an audio watermark that would survive possibly four or five different transcodings along the way to its final destination, it would be a good place to put it. But uh, I don't know if it's that. I haven't really gone further. All I know is that this is it and it is removable.